Hi, welcome to Physionic, where we learn the body from the macro to the micro. If that's something you think you'd be interested in, then consider subscribing. In today's Praxis content, I wanted to briefly cover how you can cut caffeine if that's to lower it or to completely eliminate it and reduce or completely eliminate the chances of you getting a headache from the lack of caffeine. Now, when you cut caffeine, what you're doing is decreasing the amount of the caffeine molecule. So the caffeine molecule usually binds to particular receptors that the adenosine molecule would normally bind to. When adenosine binds to these particular receptors, especially in the brain, that leads to sleepiness and that's how we end up falling asleep with this overall increase in adenosine. However, of course, as caffeine blocks the receptor site, well then adenosine can't bind it. So if you cut caffeine completely, you are still going to have lethargy. You're going to have extreme tiredness because because your body still has extremely elevated levels of adenosine from the adaptation process from continuously consuming caffeine. As caffeine levels rise, as you continue to consume caffeine, your body's going to keep dumping more and more and more adenosine to counteract that caffeine. Now, when you cut out caffeine completely, then that means you have incredibly high levels of adenosine and you have incredibly low or no levels of caffeine. So suddenly all of those receptors that were initially blocked will now be saturated with adenosine. So that can lead to headaches and of course that can lead to lethargy. Uh, unfortunately there isn't a whole lot you can do against the lethargy until your body then adapts back to baseline in which it's not going to release as much of that adenosine. Go back to pre-caffeinated levels for you. You can do something about the headache. So it's really simple. Honestly, what you do is you take your caffeine amount, let's say that you consume four cups of coffee a day, and because you've created a certain level of tolerance and two cups doesn't really feel like anything anymore, trust me, it is doing something. It's just that you don't experience that kind of euphoric or uh, stimulant style that the caffeine used to give you until you reach those four cups, but now you're at four cups. What you do is for one to two days, you cut that down in half, so to two cups. And yes, you're not gonna feel the euphoric feeling, that makes sense, but you are going to stave off some of that lethargy and you are going to stave off the headache. Then from there, another two days of cutting that volume in half. So then you're down to one cup and then you cut that in half to half a cup and so on and so forth. So, And you can also do it in far more controlled manners by knowing the relative amount of milligrams of caffeine that each one of your beverages has and then multiplying that by the number of beverages that you consume. So then you can just cut down the milligrams. So you can either cut down cups of coffee or whatever beverage that you consume in half every, let's say, two, one to two to three days. If you really want to be safe, do it every three days and keep reducing it till you get to nothing and or you can count the actual milligrams. So let's say you consume 800 milligrams a day, which is a sizable amount. Then you would cut that into 400, then 200, 150, so on and so forth, every one to three days. And that should preserve you and make sure that you don't have any sort of headache. But again, you will feel tired. There's no getting around that until your body adapts and goes back to kind of its natural basal state without caffeine in its system. So hopefully that's informative. Hopefully you find it useful. And I hope that I have the pleasure of speaking with you in the next one. Have a good one, guys. Bye.